while i'm you know uh, telling you guys about the resume it is very important to understand that these points apply not just to this uh, uh, generation google scholarship program but for you know in general things so um, in the resume there are a few things that you should always keep in mind the very first thing is your resume should be of one page only some people say that uh, your resume can exceed to two pages but i really uh, on a personal note i note i really believe that your resume should not exceed one page now why i say this is it is it has been my own personal experience that i have come to the understanding that the person who is reading your resume is not going to give more than uh, 5 to 10 seconds in reading your resume and let's say you have two pages in your resume so what can happen is what is the possibility is that you have something very important on the second page of your resume but as the person is reading your resume he or she is going to give only 10 seconds to your resume it is possible that the most important thing of your resume or the most important part of your resume gets missed out so always try to uh, make a resume which is only one page i know this is something very difficult because you uh, a lot of us have a lot of things to mention in the resume but it is important that you understand the um, requirement of one page resume right you it is your responsibility that all your important points gets reflected in just that one page now uh, i uh, after this slide i'll also show you my current resume i don't have the resume that i had submitted at that time while applying for the generation google scholarship because you know i have this habit of up keep uh, updating the same resume again and again but what i'll try to show you through my resume is what should be the approach that you can apply um from my point of view right then you should also try to make your resume very clean clean simple consistent and bullet pointed as you can see over here now why it needs to be to be clean simple and consistent i, I have answered that as already as i said the reader is going to give not more than 5 to 10 seconds to your resume so you have to make sure that all the important points gets um reflected on your resume to the to the reader so as your resume as much as it is clean and simple and consistent it is more readable and it is more likely that your important points gets reflected right now uh, there are a few sections that you should always try to mention in your resume being What? a student is anyone saying anything all right so being a student these are the few sections that you should definitely mention in your resume the very first thing is your education sex section now this education section would uh, would comprise of all your informations in the um, in uh, information regarding your 10th standard and their your percentage in your 10th standard then your 12th standard and the, its percentage and then your college percentage let's say you have crossed your obviously you guys must be in your second year right so first year ka आपको एक सीजीपीए या परसेंट मिला होगा सो योर रेज्यूमे शुड कंटेन ऑल दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट now the second thing is work experience now a lot of you must have uh, you know uh, have worked at some you know uh, some um, startups or some companies as in as internships so if you have uh, interned at somewhere you can mention about it in your ex work experience section then we have positions of responsibility now a lot of students what they do is at uh, first i'll tell you what is positions of responsibility let's say at your university there is a technical society xyz and at that technical society you are the technical lead so this is a position position of responsibility of yours so it is something good to mention in your resume so let's say you, uh, you are a mentor at some uh, technical society or some educational society at your, uh, your university so you can include that in this section right now uh, now as, as i was say, is saying what a lot of students do is they club work experience and position position of responsibility now let's say if you don't have any internship experience or work experience then in that case clubbing these two sections is all right but if you do, if you have internship experience and if you are also uh, holding some position of responsibility then as my personal opinion i always feel that these two sections should be addressed differently so and should be should, should be given their own space right these should not be merged together but it, again it is a dep it depends on if you have any work experience or not and you guys being in second year it is possible that you don't have any internship you know because uh, generally in first year students 
are not given uh, such opportunities but then in that case you don't need to worry about it because you know all of all the applicants must be on the same page only agar aapke paas work experience nahi hai so it is very likely possible that not the other person will also have uh, the internship experience i did have like, internship experience at my time because first year mein uh, at our university we were given the Uh, we were com- it was made compulsory for us to uh, intern at some place so i had work experience in my resume at that time then one of the most important section in your resume is the skill section because you know it, this will contain all the information about what you are skilled in or what mm-hmm. you are capable of so this is the section where you need to uh, you know you, you need to be very um, cautious of what you are putting up over here or not because you know what happens is the re- the reader of your resume is someone who has experience of you know so many years that by just reading uh, the resume or by just asking a very few questions one or few two questions to you he or she will get to know that you are lying about it or you are truthful about it whether you know uh-huh. that skill or you are just bluffing right so while writing the skill section you should be very cautious of what you are putting over here if you don't know a particular skill and you are still mentioning it over here then you are at a very big uh, risk kyunki it is possible that while someone is uh, you know uh, asking you the question regarding your skills and he or she ask you a question about the skill that you were bluffing it is possible that you may not be able to answer that then that would leave a very bad impression on you, uh, your application right so be very uh, cautious of what you put in this skills section section then um, i know you guys are achievers and uh, so you guys you guys must be having so many re- uh, achievements in your resume uh, achievements already right so you can put, mention those in your resume let's say you uh, ba- you won any ho- hackathon or you won a second prize in a hackathon then you can mention in that in your resume or let's say you got a certificate of excellence from somewhere from your university or some other program then you can mention about it uh, about that and it is also possible that you guys must be a part of some other prestigious program other than google generation scholarship then you can mention about that as well right and then the last uh, uh, last section of your resume should be your project section now here you can mention about all your projects that you have uh, let's say you made a very small project or a very big project for project for a hackathon or uh, any internship or your personal projects then you can mention about that so with this being said i'll take you to my resume my current resume as i said i don't have the resume at, uh, uh, which i had submitted at that time but from my current resume you can get the idea of what of everything that i just mentioned right so just give me a minute i'll uh, take you guys to that as well hmm. i hope you guys are able to see this pdf right so this is my current resume uh, i have not ad- updated it for the last one month i guess so there will be few changes here and there but the overall section you can see over here first i have mentioned all my basic information my name my branch my university and a bit, small summary about me over here as you can see now a lot of people say that they don't uh mention summary uh you know a summary section in their resume so it is totally up to you i always feel that this actually gives a special tint or you know a special effect on the reader of the resume so i uh, never remove this se- section of a uh, summary but it is something that you can decide whether you want to add a summary or not then i have also mentioned about my um uh, you know uh, uh details specific details and important details my email id my phone number linkedin uh, id and then github id you can also mention about these then as i said the uh, very first section that i had mentioned in the uh, presentation your education uh, section right so from here you can see it is these are the my uh, these are my credentials uh, or you can say education info educational information from my university then 12th standard and 10th standard then these are my work experience as you can see over here i have three internship experiences up till now so i have mentioned about these and then you can see that i have also mentioned about what i did in these uh, internships now what happens is a lot of time people students they mention about the company that they uh, interned at 
uh, in this uh, under the internship experience they mention about what this company was but that is something not that important to the reader the reader actually wants to know what you have done what was your contribution to it so that is something that you should mention uh, below your work experience then i have also mentioned about some of the position of responsibility that that i hold right now and the past uh, positions of responsibilities as well and then again over here i have mentioned about my contribution to these uh, positions right not about the uh, uh, you know uh, society or the uh, institution of, for which i was holding this position of responsibility but about what i did so this is something you should also keep in mind that you should mention about what you did uh, uh, into for these uh, positions right and that is a whole uh, gist of your resume as well right so through a resume what are you trying to do you are actually trying to showcase what you have in yourself what are your capabilities what are your skills so you should mention about what was your contribution to these things then as you can see over here this is my skill section although the skill section has received a very small space over here but this actually pretty much contains all the skills that i have so uh, over here you can see i uh, me being from the information technology background i have uh, skills related to the this uh, branch only so i have mentioned about my lang languages technical domain means uh, frames and libraries that i know then i have also mentioned about the soft skills that i have right and then some other skills that i uh, possess now uh, a lot of time what students do is they uh, tend to you know don't they don't segregate their skills into different sections they just what what students do is ek sath they will write c c plus plus java python and then usi ke niche they will write machine learning web development and game development then usi ke niche they will mention frameworks but they will not segregate of what this uh, thing is but this is something that you should keep in mind that your skill section should be as segregated as possible it should be clear you know as soon as you see technical domain and you see machine learning acha you will understand okay gorisha is skilled in machine learning in the domain of in this domain right whereas if i had not segregated my uh, skill section what would have happened some of the other skill must have got missed by you while reading it right so this actually gives a special um, emphasis on your skills so you can also take up this thing if you want then i have mentioned about the achievements as you can see over here now a lot of students what they do is they put projects above their achievements so this is something totally depending on your your understanding what you do want to uh, do so a few time you know a while ago i also used to put uh, projects above my achievements but now that i have quite a few achievements i always try to keep them above my projects so you can see the achievements and the certificates that i have received up till now and then the project section now uh, being from a technical uh, branch or a technical line my projects are very important for uh, my resume right so it is very important for uh, anyone to display the exact information through their uh, Through through very few lines, you can see clearly from here that this is the name of my project, or this is the name of my project, and this is the kind of the project that I made. This is a Flutter app. This is a web app. This is a again a Flutter app. This is a Discord board. So you can directly by just having a glance at my project would would be able to understand what this project was, right? So you can you should always try to write uh, opt uh, you know. Uh, attain your uh, attain or you can say you should always try to follow this format name and then the type of the project and then uh, under that project you should always mention the like languages and the tech stack that you have used so uh, the, what will happen again the it will re, uh, uh, um ankita can you can you please stop that hmm. do we have abhigya in the session i think she is not here okay all right so i would uh, just request please you know try to refrain from yourself uh, from doing such things because actually that uh, breaks the flow right so just give me a minute i'll stop sharing and i'll just you know remove all these things hmm all right okay 
so uh, where was i yeah i was telling you about uh, after your project name and the type of the project that you have uh, mentioned in your resume you should always try to mention the language and the text tag that you have used because I, again it will increase the readability of your project and then a very few lines about what your project is actually doing right now a lot of students also what they do is they um, uh, attach a hyperlink over here so that the person who is reading uh, your resume can actually go to the github link or github repository in which you have made your uh, project or you have stored your project that you can also do that but uh, right now i haven't done that so these were the few six sections or you can say five sections five or six sections that i have mentioned in my resume and this is pretty much the same thing that i have i had at that time uh, when I was applying um, for the uh, Google Generation Scholarship, right? So nothing much have changed up uh, since then. Uh, the format was pretty much the same uh, as you can see right now. So I'm, again, once again, I'll just uh, repeat myself that I don't have my resume of the, at that time, which was my Otherwise, I would have shown you that, right? Now, this was br a brief... Um, uh information about how you should uh, create your resume now uh, one point that i should clearly mention over here as you can see from my resume i have obtained uh, i have used the two for uh, column format now uh, as you can see this is the first column and this is the second column now a lot of students they use the single column format so that is something totally up to you if you like two columns then you can use that if you like one column or you know single uh, column uh, format that, then you can use that as well but according to me on my personal understanding i always feel that these uh, two columns give you more space than one column right so again i would say it is up to you of what format you would like to use right 